hi guys welcome to the chat application course so in this course i'll teach you that how to build the chat application in the laravel so this will be the one-to-one -one chat system and you already know that i have created a video on how we can install the chat system in the laravel and these are very popular on my youtube channel and it's almost 40k plus views you know, 500k likes uh, this one is um old video where i did this i think in the laravel 8 version and then i recreated this video where i got the 23k views uh, where i'm explaining this in the laravel 10 right and uh, this one is a complete uh, system which is where we install the package and functionality it's very simple to integrate it, integrate this right but it's um, somehow limited uh, limit us that we can't to uh, add our personal uh, functionality or we can't add this on a specific model right so in this course i'll teach you by building from scratch so you can implement this into the existing application or the newer application with your own custom stuff you can even add the more themes right whatever suits you and then this will work for you right and by the way if you don't know uh, about my channel i'm my name is that Riazi and i'm full stack web developer i'm tutoring laravel and vue.js on this my youtube channel where i created this laravel 11 integration uh, course vue.js composition uh, api building vue.js and laravel application and if you are new that you don't know about the how to integrate the laravel and vue.js you know the laravel and vue.js and don't know how to integrate them so this one will be a video where you can learn it and this one is a complete course and if you are a urdu user right you don't know you are com comfortable with the urdu or hindi so you can watch my this channel where i am tutoring the uh, throwing all things in the urdu and hindi in simple language so still you can watch this uh, by uh, if you are english user still you can watch uh, those laravel interviews question laravel 11 and there are much more upcoming courses uh, in the english translations right there are subtitles are added yes i'm going to close this stuff now and now let's move uh, to our main topic we will broadcast our uh, events in the real time right <clears throat> so in this way we need the laravel application and you know that laravel 11 came with the laravel rework functionality so that's why i'm doing this with the laravel 10 not the laravel 11 because we will uh, install the laravel 11 reverb in the laravel 11 so we don't need this pusher but i'm going to do this with the pusher right pusher is a can say that broadcasting channel where we will broadcast our events and then pusher will broadcast handle this stuff for us right and uh, now i'm going to give you the complete brief uh, introduction that how we can do this uh, with the step by step side i even i uh, when i'm implementing this i uh, spent almost 15 plus hours to debug this that there are uh, hidden features that we need to implement this and uh, I'll cover this in the within few minutes video like that uh, not the few it would be around half an hour or maybe a bit more so you will uh, cover my 15 hours effort into the 30 minutes perfect now we need the laravel 10 application so how you can install the laravel 10 application right i have already installed this because i don't want to waste your time but how you can pull the laravel 10 application so type composer create project laravel slash laravel equal 10 and then application name so this will pull the laravel 10 application if i go to the composer.json file uh, so where is the laravel version uh, okay php is 8.1 and laravel framework is 10 right so it's a 10 version and i have also prepared a database here which is chat app which is empty database and here this one is my connection i set this out here so i'm going to now connect my application with the database so just typing this php artisan migrate so it will um, create the tables in my database 
perfect we are successfully able to create those tables and uh, this one is a broadcasting so before moving to the broadcasting feature i'm going to first install the starter kit right and uh, whenever we will log in so then we will uh, add the template there right so we will use this template uh, to build the chat application right so user will one user will chat here and then this will be appeared here and this will also chat with this user right so i'm going to now close this uh, stuff for now okay close this and i'm going to first install the starter kit so let's uh, get started here click on this laravel okay get started find the starter kit yes this one is a starter kit and i'm going to install the laravel please just copy this and uh, go back here clear this out and paste this command uh, composer require laravel breeze and it will pull the laravel breeze um, from the official docs and then we need to install this right and it will take a few minutes to install the breeze yes it's almost done and generating the files for us so wait for a minute and yes it's almost completed perfect now i'm going to install the breeze because first just pull the package and then i'm going to now install this breeze okay it's installed just paste this command and type uh, breeze and here how you want to proceed with the breeze so i want to use the blade so just type uh, blade and uh, do you want to enable the dark mode no i don't want okay which framework you want just hit enter i don't want to use anything okay and installing and building the node dependencies perfect and whenever you will install this into the laravel 11 so it will ask you do you want to install the laravel reverb so then you can choose here no right and now it's installing and bundling our node dependencies basically it's doing the uh, whatever the packages uh, whatever this package comes with the default to files like breeze have uh, login uh, css and register css it's compiling those files and here after that we need to also migrate our database we already did this so i'm not going to do this and if styling are not working you can run those commands right and uh, it's working but it's throwing a bit error that um, export one isn't used and type module okay so this one is a common problem in the laravel 10 so if you go to your uh, package.json file and here go to the top and type uh, module right uh, module ah no first type type and then type would be the module module okay something like this save this one and now recompile the assets i'm going to run this tab so it will uh, run our local environment again and yes perfectly now it's compiled the file successfully right whatever error it's throwing that uh, it's also telling that to uh, set type to modules so that's why i did this here in the package.json perfect now it's working fine and if i go here and visit my application just give it a refresh and you can see this there is a login and register functionality is here right perfect uh, now here i'm going to register myself uh, it's zero one then my password and let's uh, register this and perfect it's now i'm logged in and uh, here i can visit my profile and perfect i can change my credentials too so we are successfully able to install the starter kit right and now the time is to now the time is to install our theme stuff right so i have prepared the theme here so if i open this out here so this one is uh, in theme right so i'm going to integrate this so how i can do this so simply uh, open this into the any of the text editor or you can do this in the any of the uh, i'm using the subline so that's why i opened this out here so just copy this section stuff right 
and I think yeah just copy this section stuff and let's uh, move here in the Laravel dashboard here this one is a loading that you are logged in so I'm going to ah, here I'm going to print the name to that you are logged in uh, whatever the username is I'm going to say auth user and I'm directly calling its name without to checking if else because uh, uh, my this route is protected so and the user who is logged in then he will be able to visit this dashboard so i'm going to paste my stuff here right section stuff so just to orientate it bit align it bit okay then edit this section and it will look very weird because we haven't added any style here yes looks weird so now just to go here and copy its styling so i'm going to the top and let's say here in the chat outline so let me copy all of the stuff and let's go here and create a, in the public i'm going to create a assets directory and in the assets i'm going to create a css directory where i'm going to create a style dot css perfect paste this style here save this and now i'm going to add this here at the top so but i don't want this functionality right it's look like that so it's importing the layout right so it's doing something like this using the slot but i want to use my own stuff right so that's why i'm going to this uh, uh, here and everything is similar something like this it's accepting this slot here but if i want to use uh, multiple slot then how it will be here so let me test this out mm, okay and this would be the css now i'm going to say uh, here my css will be rendered css links okay uh, just to go here oops not here give it a refresh and let's see where it's rendering this out uh, CSS okay what I type CSS links no it's not rendering this because I need to add the slot okay so it will maybe use the same slot so how I will assign this a name this header slot is here but anyway I'm going to uh, remove this stuff because I don't want to waste uh, your time on this one so I'm going to use the uh, include stuff right so uh, I'm going to say here just remain this uh, no just remove this sorry guys I'm using you so here I'm going to say uh, yield right yield the content and then also I want to yield the styles here right so yield the CSS okay and here I want to uh, basically extend that thing layouts dot app and I'm going to say uh, section CSS so hope you are familiar with this one because I want to reuse my parent stuff right let's take content and then end section so I'm going to removing this so uh, stuff right I'm going to get this only this stuff so cut this out and remove this x layout functionality paste this stuff here and now let's see what else is remaining so let's go ahead and get refresh refresh and everything is working as expected so now I'm, i want to uh, add my style here so basically what i did this uh, i have created a section this section will be rendered into this uh, parent app here right similarly I'm also rendering my CSS files here uh, which I will get it from here so that's why I'm going to add my CSS file here so let's say is it and then I'm going to say style dot CSS let's get refresh styling is still uh, same so I want to add the bootstrap because this one is now in the bootstrap so get bootstrap dot com and I'm going to pull the pull the styling okay 
um, paste this out now let's go here get refresh and now our this uh, functionality is working perfectly right and i think i don't need this style too if i comment this out let's get refresh yeah i a bit modification i think a bit modification let me try it one more time no there is no modification so i'm going to comment this out and if i need this feature so i will turn this on again right so that's why i'm not removing this out perfect our chat uh, our chat feature is uh, here and in the next videos i'm going to i think this would also not looks good so let me remove this thing because our user is just already there at the top so let's get refresh perfect our username is here already added right so we don't need to mention it again and again and we need a button here so let me add a button before closing ending this video i'm going to add a button and this type message should be here in the placeholder there and then i'm going to say here a div uh, for a button which will send a button I'm going to assign a BTN, BTN, uh, BTN, BTN primary, and then BTN should be small. And I want to uh, just show you that I want to align this on the right side. So style uh, here text so line would be right side. Let's get refresh. And yes, right side add a space from the top. So here I can directly add this margin top to sketch refresh and perfect. Now we are successfully able to add a button here. So uh, here I think this color should be added for that button. Or I can use info so it will be more similar like above. Sketch refresh and see. And yes, looks more similar, right? Just need the text color white text so white uh, these are the bootstrap classes that's why they are working perfectly just get refresh and perfect now it's sim look like very similar so our design is ready and in the next video i'm going to install the broadcasting stuff so i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye